Hey Dazzlers, welcome back to my channel. As always, I hope that you're both safe and doing well. In today's video, I share with you two simple home decor DIYs using these Dollar Tree charger plates. Let's get started. The first thing I did was trace the bottom of the charger plate on Dollar Tree foam board. I then cut out four of those pieces. Next, I'm using generous amounts of hot glue to adhere all four pieces together. I then used more hot glue to adhere the trays to my phone. I'm closing one end with this Dollar Tree 5 inch mirror that I already had at home. I then added some of this vinyl paper that I found at Dollar Tree in the color rose gold. I've not heard great reviews about using this vinyl paper with your Cricut machine, but for this project, it worked well. I'm sealing the entire piece, including the trays, with Gloss Mod Podge. I'm including the trays because from my experience, they will tarnish over time, and I'm hoping that the Mod Podge will help them keep their shine just a bit longer. Once my Mod Podge was completely dry, I added some of these rose gold florals that I picked up last year from Michaels during their after Christmas 70% off sale. And here's how my DIY turned out. For DIY number two, I'm hot gluing two of the charger plates together. I 
I'm sure many of you remember the tall glass vase that I picked up from Goodwill a couple of weeks back. It was filled with glass gems and I've decided to use the clear glass gems for this week's DIY. I used a strong adhesive and a small amount of hot glue to add four other large gems to the bottom of my charger plates. I then added more of the gems in between the two charger plates. I then allowed this to dry for two hours. At the last minute, I decided to add these Dollar Tree LED wire lights. Initially, I planned to hot glue the wires to the center of the design and simply place the battery pack underneath, but I ended up drilling a hole in the tray, feeding the wire through the tray, and then hot gluing the battery pack to the bottom half of the tray instead. Now that my wire is securely in place, I'm going to hide the wire by adding more of the gems using the strong adhesive and hot glue. Now that I've laid down my second layer, I'm adding a third layer only using the strong adhesive. I'm doing this because the hot glue will oftentimes dry cloudy and I want my top layer to be crystal clear. Because I didn't have the immediate hole of hot glue, I had to wait for an hour before flipping this over and completing the opposite side. This strong adhesive takes 24 hours to fully cure, so I'm also using painter's tape to help hold the gems in place. Once my gems were in place on all four sides, I allowed my design to dry for 24 hours. I removed the tape and tested my lights and they work perfectly. At this point, this tray can be customized by adding mirrors or rhinestones, but I'm opting to keep it as is. I love the versatility with this look. I can use it to hold my husband's favorite candle and cologne or use it to hold my favorite glass canisters and diffuser. The possibilities are endless. So there you have it guys, two simple home decor DIYs using inexpensive Dollar Tree charger plates. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, please like, comment, and share. And if you're brand new to my channel, please subscribe and be sure to turn on all notifications so that you don't miss my next video. Remember, I upload new videos every single week. So until next time, Dazzlers, bye.